The frictions between Russia and the west of Europe have gone up in recent years. As a result, the possibility of British and Russian tanks fighting in a potential European war is not a far-fetched reality. Russia's latest variant of the T-90 tank could be a formidable threat to the British main battle tank, the Challenger II. Although both war machines are hailed as exceptional pieces of military hardware, only one can come out as victorious on the battlefield. We thought it would be cool to compare Britain's and Russia's main battle tanks in this video and try to determine which tank is superior in terms of speed, armor, fire control system, and firepower. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The T-90 has been in service since 1992. More than 3,200 units have been built so far with per unit cost of $5 million. The tank is operated by a crew of three people. The T-90 comes in at a weight of 48 tons. The tank is 32 feet long, 13 feet wide, and 7 feet high. With a 1,000 horsepower engine, the tank can reach a top speed of 37 miles per hour. The operational range of the tank is around 342 miles. The T-90 is armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun. On the other hand, the Challenger II has been in service since 1998. Around 447 units have been built so far, with per unit cost of $9 million. It holds a crew of four people. The combat-ready weight of the tank is 75 tons. The tank is 44 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 8 feet high. With a 1,200 horsepower engine, it can reach a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour. The operational range of the tank is 342 miles. The Challenger II is armed with a 120mm rifled gun. Number 2. Russia's T-90 is much lighter than the English tank. However, it does have good armor and a fairly strong defensive sweep. First, the T-90's armor is made up of composite material. The tank's second tier of defenses relies on explosive reactive armor, which consists of two armor plates with an explosive charge core sandwiched in between. Finally, the T-90 packs a countermeasure system known as Curtain. This system has a series of laser warning sensors positioned around the tank. On the contrary, the Challenger II armor is one of the best in the world. It's equipped with second generation Chabam armor, two times stronger than steel. On the battlefield, the tank can be prepared with additional armor plates and bars with ERA kits. A chemical, nuclear, and biological protection system is located in the turret bustle. Five smoke grenade dischargers are outfitted on each side of the turret. The Challenger II can also set a smoke screen by injecting diesel fuel into engine exhausts as well. Number 3. Various models of T-90 tanks are powered by different engines. The latest variant of T-90 is powered by a V-12 diesel engine producing 1,000 horsepower. The engine can be fueled by kerosene, benzene, or diesel. With the help of this engine, the tank can attain a top speed of 37 miles per hour on paved roads and 28 miles an hour on rough terrain. The operational range of the tank is 342 miles. In contrast, the Challenger II is powered by a Perkins V12 diesel engine producing 1,200 horsepower. Assisted by an 8-speed gearbox, the tank can travel at a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour on paved roads and 25 miles per hour off-road. The operational range of the British tank is 342 miles on-road and 160 miles on rough terrain. Number 4. The T-90's fire control system is fully computerized, but features a manual override as well. The commander and gunner's fire control system contain day fire, night vision, and a thermal imaging site for target identification. The laser rangefinder allows for firing on the move, even in low lighting conditions. The latest variant of the T-90 has improved network-centric warfare capabilities in coordination with the latest Armada project vehicles. The T-90 is also equipped with hunter-killer operations with a common engagement sequence. Similarly, the Challenger II is equipped with a digital fire control system to manage all of the sighting instruments. The Commander has a gyro-stabilized panoramic sight with laser rangefinder assisted by eight periscopes giving 360 degrees field of view. The tank is also outfitted with thermal observation and gunnery sight. This system provides night vision and thermal imaging displayed on the Commander and Gunner's monitors. The system is called Hunter Killer Optics, which helps the gunner to engage the target while the commander designates another. 
When the original target is destroyed, the turret turns automatically and the process begins again. Number 5. The T-90's primary armament includes a 125mm smoothbore gun. The gun is stabilized in two axes and fitted with a thermal sleeve around the barrel. Fed by an automatic loader, the gun can fire a variety of ammunition, including armor piercing, anti-tank, and high explosive fragmentation rounds. The T-90's gun can also fire anti-tank sniper-guided missiles. The system is intended to engage tanks, low-flying helicopters, and UAVs with a range of 4 miles. The tank is armed with a remote-controlled 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun with an effective range of 1.25 miles. The T-90 is also armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. In contrast, the Challenger 2 is armed with a 120mm rifled gun. Made by high-tech steel and alloys, this is the only rifle gun fitted to a NATO tank. Other features include a thermal sleeve, fume extraction, and an electric stabilization. The gun is loaded manually and is compatible with all NATO standard ammunition. The turret is capable of 360 degrees rotation, and the weapon elevation range is from minus 10 degrees to plus 20 degrees. The gun can hit a moving target with armor-piercing round for more than 2 miles, while high-explosive squash head rounds have a longer range of 5 miles. The Challenger 2 is also equipped with a 7.62mm chain gun located to the left side of the main gun. The loader has access to a 7.62mm anti-air machine gun mounted on the roof of the tank. The T-90 is fitted with a 1,000 horsepower engine, while the Challenger 2 is powered by a 1,200 horsepower engine. Both tanks have top speeds of 37 miles per hour. However, the T-90 has better cross-country performance due to its wider chassis and higher power-to-weight ratio. The Russian tank has an automatic gun reloading system, whereas the Challenger 2 can only be fed manually. This removes the need for a manual loader in the tank and reduces the crew to three. Both systems have their own advantages and disadvantages. Both tanks are equipped with an automatic target tracking system, also known as Hunter-Killer, where the tank commander plays Hunter-Observer functions and passes the data to the gunner in sequence. Both tanks carry different types of guns. However, the T-90 main gun can effectively hit a target from up to 2.5 miles, whereas the British cannon can hit a target from 2 miles. The T-90's gun is capable of launching a guided anti-tank missile with the ability to destroy any armored object within a range of 4 miles. However, the Challenger 2 can also hit a target with high explosive squash head rounds from 5 miles. So which tank do you think would win in a one-to-one -one battle? Russia's T-90 or the British Challenger 2? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.